welcome back to the another tutorial so in today's tutorial we'll be looking on to the out of the box present macros okay which can help you out in uh creating a shortcut for the coding okay so have you heard about macros before so macros are the entity which you can define in a system okay and which ease out the uh, your editing skills or whenever you are writing developing code okay it can help you out with certain shortcuts I will showcase you few of the shortcuts which are already pre present in the system. Okay. So if I go to script include, I will open a script include. And if I click new, so it will create a raw script include format. And over here, there are few shortcuts which I'll be showing. For example, if you want to add documentation documents on your code okay or any function so you can simply tap doc and then tap so what it will do it will create a framework okay or a boilerplate comments okay for you where you can fill the descriptions and all that things what kind of input it's taking what kind of output it will be returning okay this is the first one which is draw the second one is like in in our day-to-day -day activity coding activity We'll be using for loop for for quite extent, right? Okay, so you don't need to write it all the time. You can simply type for and then tap, and it will generate the syntax for you. Okay, the similar way we we create information message. Okay, info message we add info message. So for that you can simply type info and space. Okay, so it will give a, a syntax for add info message. In your code, the next one is like in if if in a script include you want to define a function, okay. If you want to define a method, so for that what you can do you can do simply type method and tap, and what it will do it will create a comment base for you, and it will create for example I give my function name like xyz, and I have the entire function body present in front of me. The next most frequent thing which we use while coding. Is glide record, right? So the next syntax which we have is variable for glide record. We can simply go to variable here and sorry variable here and tab, and it will create a glide record signature for you. We also have one more which is variable here. Or it creates an example for glide record or query. Now the thing which is which must be coming in your mind: How exactly is this shortcuts are working, and can we create our own shortcuts? Okay, so definitely you can create your own shortcuts. So these shortcuts are coming via macros, and where exactly these macros are defined? So what you have to do? You have to go to the navigator and just type. Syntax editor macros, so which is present under the system definition. So under system definition, you have syntax editor macros. And if I go over here, you can see there are few macros which are already present, which I have sh just shown you uh, in the tutorial, right? Which is dog, for, info, method, var, all the things, right? You can create your own macro also. So for example. If I want to create a macro to get property, right? System property. So I will give prop. Okay. I will add comment. This is the short cut to get the property syntax. Okay. And I will give Get, get, get property over here, and attribute which you want as dynamic, you can simply define it as a dollar size, appending with dollar. Okay, or you can keep it as empty or it also works. So I have just created this out, and we'll save it out. 
so i will again go to the script include Let's see if it's there in history and over here now if i type prop and tap so it has generated the boilerplate code for me so in this way you can create your own uh, macros okay in the service now system as per your project okay what exactly what syntax you are using your project more frequently and then you can use it out as a shortcut in your project okay so this is all for today's tutorial hope you like it out so please like follow subscribe to my channel to get the latest update of this kind of videos in the future till then stay safe stay happy and have a nice